hello everyone. Today we have a very special personality with us being interviewed, none other than Dilanta Malagamo. He needs no introduction for he's been in racing for, I think, over four decades now and he's arguably Sri Lanka's most prolific international racing driver. So today we caught up with him to ask him just a few questions on how racing is going internationally in light of the COVID-19 pandemic as well as what he's been up to and some of his insights. So Dilanta, it's indeed a privilege for us to have you on board with us here. You have always supported the Motor Magazine and we appreciate that. And of course, you have our support as well. Our first question for you is, in view of the current restrictions on international travel and international racing, what have you been up to these days? How have you been keeping yourself busy and on the go? I have my simulator at home. <laughs> and then uh, I do, I mean, I, I do a lot on the simulator. Plus, uh, physically, my physical fitness, I keep very fit. So, especially I was doing a lot of yoga, which I think was one of the best things. And then uh, cross fitness. So, I do all that. And plus, uh, um, every day I have been doing a live, uh, FB live for the last 130 days from 8.30 to 9.30 trying to inspire Sri Lankans and also Sri Lankans living overseas and uh, getting because without racing it's very frustrating you know but and then the first race is on the 7th 8th 9th of August but unfortunately I won't be able to make it because of the restrictions and then coming back and going for quarantine so it's, it's not practical so I don't know as soon as things are back to normal I'll be starting to race again Okay, well, it is indeed disappointing that you won't be able to join that first race. But once uh, the restrictions are lifted, of course, and it makes sense to resume international travel, uh, what is the series that you will be uh, participating in? Yeah, this year I was to do the uh, uh, that's um, uh, the uh, Blank Pain GT, but this year they have changed the names, and then also I was uh, planning to do the Lamborghini Super Pro. So I was trying to do the both championships. Uh, the GT as well as the Lamborghini Super Pro. So I'll be missing the first round. And in the GT, there's four rounds, and in the Lamborghini, there is five rounds. So each uh, round is with two races. So unfortunately, I don't know where I can start. The first race is in Italy, and the second race is in Germany. So hopefully, I can make it for the next race, which is on the 14th or 15th of September. Yes, indeed, uh, we hope that you'll be able to make it there again. We very much like to see the Sri Lankan flag on the car going around the track there, especially with your driving style as well. Also, we've been hearing quite a bit about the Lamborghini uh, Squadra Course track-only hypercar. Can you tell us a bit about that car? And I'm sure you would have uh, had some exposure to it. Uh, Squadra Course is uh, actually the racing division of uh, racing and the development division of uh, uh, the motorsports in uh, in in Lamborghini. So I've been closely working with them for the last ten years, and sometimes I do the official testing and all that. So actually, they are not a big company compared to other manufacturers such as Porsche, and Mercedes, uh, uh, BMW, and also it's a little bit smaller than Ferrari. But uh, the last few years, they have been very uh, successful in racing because they are very committed, and um, the technology. 75% comes from Germany uh, and then uh, the bodywork plus a few so tuning, uh, the fine tuning is done by Italians but other than that 75% 70 comes from uh, uh, Audi and so it's Audi R8 and the Lamborghini is almost very similar only the aerodynamics and few things changes. So uh, according to the first race they had in the uh, World GT Challenge, the Lamborghini didn't perform well because uh, there's a POP because last year they won the championship. So there is a POP. So always the POP keeps changing, trying to give every manufacturer a uh, chance. And then the first race in the World GT, uh, uh, Audi won. But I think uh, uh, the Cause is a very small, I mean, compared to other factories, it's a very small uh, organization, but they are very committed to it. And I really love working with them because um, they communicate very well and they, they support me in a big Thank you, Dilanta. And now we come to a question that is a bit more applicable to life in general. It is something that in racing, I think one of the most important things all racing drivers should have is discipline. And having been on the track for as many years as you, you have no doubt garnered a huge amount of discipline. So can you give us a bit about 
your take on discipline, particularly advice for Sri Lankans, discipline not just in racing, but on the roads in general and in our life? Because coming from you, I think that would mean a humongous deal. I think uh, for my success, the most important thing was discipline. So that came from my house and uh, from my home, from my parents and also from school. And I think uh, uh, in life, if you really want to do well in life, one of the main aspects and main best qualities you can have is uh, discipline. So once you're disciplined, people will start respecting you. So when you uh, get respect, they will give you the best. So discipline is very important, especially even in racing as you see, as you know, uh, you can't hit each other the way you want you to. So there's rules and regulations and there are barriers and also uh, there are, uh, I mean, they always take action against the driver. Maybe you can be the world champion, but if you do the wrong thing, uh, they will disqualify you or they will give you a penalty, drive through penalty or penalty on your, uh, I mean, after the race, they'll give you a time penalty. So that is all accepted. And the thing is, uh, uh, these penalties are, given by a set of judges like students, you know, so, and then we have a book where we have to read, actually, the FIA book is so many pages, but if you're a real good driver, you have to read all that, this discipline is very important. In motorsports, it's not like other sports, you can't get away, um, because everything is televised, I mean, everything is recorded, so, even if you do something wrong, they will catch you here and there, and then, as you know, in racing, everything is done with uh, uh, the flags, so you have to Pay. and you have to uh, uh, see the flags and you cannot say that you didn't see it. If you didn't see it, then you can't be a driver. So I am sometimes a driver saying, I didn't see the flag. So you can't say that, you know, because you have been taught about it and uh, every margin has a flag. So uh, uh, to become a champion, just being good and being uh, talented doesn't make you a champion. Uh, you have to have discipline. It's very important. So one thing is on racing, then uh, on road, especially in Sri Lanka, I don't, no one is disciplined, you know, because the thing is, they're not disciplined because they don't know, first thing is how to handle a car and they don't give respect to them. So discipline is also giving respect to others, you know, so I think we have, we have to do a, uh, I mean, a lot to do in Sri Lanka to change the discipline of drivers. As you know, um, we lose about 3,000 lives every year, uh, very valuable lives. And um, it's due to the neglect negligence of the drivers as well as the pedestrians but uh, as you know in the world rule if something there's a pedestrian and a driver a vehicle and a pedestrian uh, if there's a crash or a crash or accident whatever always the driver who was driving a vehicle is responsible because uh, always the pedestrian is right that's what they say because you are driving you are uh, you are controlling a vehicle and if you can't control it you are wrong so you can never put the blame on the uh, pedestrian so you have to always be careful and watch your mirrors. You have three mirrors, plus you can see the uh, front. So, and then there are speed limits. But as you see here, everyone is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, they break the rules, you know, so they don't uh, uh, listen. Because uh, being a racing driver, uh, I know how difficult it is, and I know the gravity of it. I know when you go, when you speed, and what happens when you meet with an accident. You, know, you can't avoid some places. So, you have to be very careful and rules are not to be raised. And so if you want to become fast and a race driver, you can go to circuit, you can go to uh, a go-kart circuit or even try, um, uh, I mean, to see how good you are at it being fast. But if you see all those drivers who are very fast on the roads, when we take them to the circuit or to the go-kart track, they're very slow because they don't know the uh, proper, uh, proper handling of a car and they don't know the, uh, uh, proper driving so it's very important that you so that's why we have this uh, uh, we do the racing school at Katipurun and we give some different drive training so it's very important because many people who drive a car doesn't know uh, how a car handles what is understeer what is oversteer the, the most uh, I mean the crucial I mean the most uh, the thing that you really need to know about the car the first thing is about understeer and oversteer and braking so if you ask many uh, even the so-called racing driving said they do not know what is exactly oversteer, what happens, understand how you uh, uh, correct it, how you correct oversteer, how you correct understand. So these small things are very important, I think, even in a, uh, in a normal um, uh, driving license, I think, I think these things should be taught, you know, because it's very important. So once you know 
the reaction of a car and how it handles, then you might be more uh, careful. So I think uh, uh, even in my daily life or whatever you do, it doesn't matter what's driving, but the most important thing is discipline and you have to discipline yourself and that will give you uh, a value at the same. Thank you. Thank you very much, Silanta. Those are indeed sound words and coming from you, they carry a great gravity that I think all Sri Lankans should take note of it. It's been an absolute pleasure having this interview with you and we look forward to following more of your exploits. Thank you once again for being with us at Motor Magazine. Thank you. Thank you Bye.